See, if you are a developer, designer, IT guy, QA, right? Anyone. If you are not upskilling yourself, trust me, you will be a liability to the organization or a company. You have to become actually the asset to the company. So in this video, I'm going to cover, right? What are the different ways where you can upskill and stay relevant in the tech industry, especially, right? I'm going to discuss about five important points with my 11 years experience in the software testing industry or software engineering industry, you can say, right? Trust me, these are super, super important, especially for freshers, manual testers, designers, IT people, developer, anyone. And these are all my learnings. All right. So let's get started. The first one, guys, focus on the soft skills. Guys, this is a super, super important. See, whenever we discuss about soft skills, no, we have something like, okay, we have to improve communication. No, you have to improve your communication, writing, your leadership skills, your problem solving, your time management, your adaptability all of them are are actually the part of your soft skills so you know when i have started right uh so after two three years of experience as a software tester right i immediately basically given a, a position of qa lead where i was not able to properly lead a team i was not able to motivate them i was shy if i discuss with this person right what will happen he will listen to me or not right these things see leadership communication all of them are skills which can be learned whenever you are thinking about as a leadership skills right you have to motivate the team you have to inspire them you have to basically guide them okay this is what we want and this is what we are going to deliver in the point all of them are part of the soft skills so make sure you are paying attention to your soft skills including communication writing email writing is super important problem solving you have to be problem solving in a nature right many of us right whenever we are software testers or even as a developer right we are actually not problem solvers right we are always revolve around the problem okay this is the problem what should we do no you have to think like a problem solving where this is a problem that we have recognize that and start solving that problem this is an important thing. step number two which is learning formula guys you have to learn new skills and everything right uh, these are the super super important if you want to upskill and you want to stay relevant in especially in the it industry right so what what do you mean by this pramod see you have to prepare your mind you have to prepare your motivation and you have to go with the roadmap. This is like a simple thing, which is MMR. Prepare your mind, basically ask why you want to learn. Motivation, which basically what you want to learn and what is the achievement that you will get, right? And the roadmap, which exactly is your how, right? Consider this example. For example, suppose I'm a software tester. I want to learn about the playwright, right? So my mind is basically why I want to learn this. And motivation is what I want to achieve by using this. The third thing is basically how. How is the last part? First two things are why you want to learn it and what exactly you will achieve. This is actually a learning formula. It's a concept, old concepts. Okay. Third important skill is the salary negotiation. Guys, many of us don't learn this concept and you are losing a lot of lot of things on the table. First of all, you have to research in the market. What is the average salary that you're getting and ask more, always ask more. This is one of the things that I have done. For example, if you make market average is five LPA, INR, ask six, ask seven. This is what you need to do. Work on your salary negotiation skills. I will create a more in-depth video on this. Let me know in the comment if you need a in-depth video on the salary negotiation part, just type salary in the comment. I will know that, okay, you need proper video video on this but salary negotiation skills are basically divided into the four part which is researching into the market preparing your case be confident ask more and the follow-up and stay professional on this case right don't be like vegetable sellers or somewhere sometimes what happens is your HR is saying okay we'll give you 6.5 you said no just increase to 6.75 no doesn't make sense right 50 25,000 INR doesn't make sense to you Basically having a stay professional, ask the amount or a raise a percentage where you have calculated properly research number. Okay. Don't ask randomly numbers. Fourth important point, which is improve your programming skills and technical skills. If you want to stay relevant in the IT industry, you have to increase your domain expertise. Nobody can stop you. For example, if you're a tester point of view, see you are always should be learning. I, I know many of us, right? We stop learning after getting a job. This is not true. I'm still learning guys. I still have mentors. I still learn important concepts. If you want to learn something, right, you have to do multiple times. So I have not created a automation framework one time. I have created multiple times. That's why I know the concept very, very well. So you have to do the same. Not one time, do multiple times. That's what you need to pay attention, right? So improving your technical domain improving your programming. Programming continuously, you have to improve. I mean, there's no shortcut to programming or recording right now. You have to practice weekly, take out some like two, three hours, do the practice, and that's what we need to 
revise, we generally forget. So always do a revision process. Fifth important point, which is networking and side projects. This is super, super important. So this is the point that I am basically emphasis right now in 2023 also. If you want to keep upskilling and if you want to basically have a state relevant in the IT industry, right, which is you have to network with the similar mindset. You have to talk to the other people, other QA leads, other QA managers, other senior QA people, or even if you're a developer, you have to talk to them. You can talk to them over LinkedIn or over anywhere, right? It can be a YouTube comments where you can basically talk, discuss with them, right? Have a networking. Networking only will improve yourself. That's the point. And the side projects, you have to do side projects, right? So whenever you do side projects, you will learn new concepts and those will be basically added automatically to your skills. I have done it multiple times. I used to do Saturday, Sunday, right? Saturday, Sunday is fixed for me. Create some side project, right? So right now, if you see, I'm just exploring some real time dashboards on Selenium, right? I have done it a long back, but I'm just revising it, making it more improvement, right? So even I'm doing right now with 11 experience. So why you are not doing it? Do it. Okay, that's the super important. Point, all right. So these are the five important points to basically upskill and staying relevant as a software engineer in 2023. So let me revise. Most of them are focus on soft skills, learning formula, learn new skills, salary negotiations, as well as improving your technical expertise and the networking and side projects. These are the super important points. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are old one, thanks a lot for joining in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,